Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. When you suspect something is wrong, it is very scary and can cause a lot of anxiety. If your doctor has referred you to a specialist, most likely what will happen is you will need further testing to confirm that you might have leukemia. To diagnose CML, you'll need to have a blood test and most likely a bone marrow biopsy and aspiration. These are to confirm if you're Philadelphia chromosome positive and also what phase you're in. These all affect what treatment you are put on. Most people first realize that something might be wrong during a routine physical at their doctor. The way I found out that something was wrong was because I was developing bruises during activities that normally would not cause bruises. I went to my doctor and they did a regular blood test. Now, if I had been going to my regular doctor every year, I probably would have been diagnosed earlier, but I hadn't gone to the doctor in eight years. I don't recommend this. I recommend getting your annual physical every year. My blood test came back with my white blood cell counts more than 40 times the normal upper limit. I was immediately referred to a specialist and they ran a second blood test. In addition, they did a bone marrow biopsy and aspiration. Together, all three of these tests show that I did indeed have CML. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how long did it take after getting tested before starting treatment? So it took me about a week from the time I went to first saw my specialist until I started the drug. This was to mostly make sure that I did indeed have the Philadelphia chromosome. My white blood cell counts were high, and so the doctors wanted both to come down a little bit. And in between, to help get my white blood cell counts down, I was on um, hydroxyurea and allopurinol. Now, if your white blood cells are not too high, they might not put you on this, but mine were really high, and so they needed to get it down before they could start me on the TKI. So it was about a week in, in, in total from seeing a specialist and to finally starting my treatment. Which was your TKI? Which was my TKI, my Tisigma. Now, as you wait for your results, it can be nerve-wracking. But if your doctors believe it is CML, there is a lot to be hopeful for. The prognosis is generally good, and the treatment is taking pills called TKIs. Many people with CML are prescribed TKIs. That stands for tyrosine kinase inhibitor. There are a lot of different TKI options for CML survivors, and this is good news. A little bit of my background, I was diagnosed with CML in 2011 and was prescribed nilotinib or Tisigma. I started on 800 milligrams, which is the maximum dosage, and over eight and a half years I took the same drug, but I was able to reduce my dose over time from 800 milligrams all the way down to 300 milligrams. After eight and a half years of treatment on nilotinib, I was able to stop my drug, and I've been in treatment free remission for over two years now. To learn more about CML and healthy living, Please subscribe by clicking the button below. Thanks for all your comments and sharing your experiences. We have really appreciated getting to know our subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, now is your chance. Thank you for watching today. Together we heal.